There have been a number of calls of late for the reopening of Midlands bogs as a solution to rising energy costs. But these calls are counterproductive, they're divisive and they're unhelpful. My colleague, Councillor Hazel Smith, was the only councillor in her municipal district in Westmeath to vote to reject a motion to allow widespread burning of turf to tackle rising food co fuel costs. I know that some of these calls come from a place of deep concern for, th for the well-being of others, and I share those concerns. But tackling one crisis by worsening another is not the answer. Anyone pushing for a renewed focus on fossil fuels as a solution to the problems we face today needs a lesson in energy economics. What we need are sustainable proposals, and this government is responding to that challenge. In the short term, recent increases to fuel allowances, including a one-off payment of €125 Euros this month, the €200 Euro energy credit, and changes to entitlements and income thresholds will help those in greatest need over the coming months. The government will continue to assess this situation as it always has done. In the medium term, the government is working hard to deliver schemes which support home energy efficiency. I know it's a bit of a cliche that the cheapest energy is the energy we don't use, yet many of my fellow public representatives seem to be ignoring this. The National Retrofit Scheme, for example, provides some very simple measures to insulate homes which are grant aided to 80% and up to 100% grants available to those in receipt of fuel allowances. This is one simple step in something we all could and should do. Any public representative not championing these schemes is not serving their constituents. Perhaps it is easier to say it won't work than to actually try it. And in the long term, this government knows we have a huge need to ramp up renewable energy. And this week we gave the green light for some major offshore wind energy projects. With applications expected by the end of the year, the first turbines could be producing electricity in 2026. Necessity is the mother of invention. And this is a time for invention, for looking forwards to innovation, not backwards to business as usual. There are so many more proactive ways to deal with this. If you're not sure where to start, please give my office a call. And it's past time some of our public representatives got their heads out of the peat and started to think about generations that come after us. Because that generation is well aware of the solutions to this crisis. I was recently contacted by a student from Oaklands Community College in Edenderry who did a project on the perception of turf use for home heating. His call to action was that we in government raise awareness of the need to reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and turf plays a role in that. For the students in his school this is a real crisis and they will be the ones to deal with the consequences. We must not unpick good environmental policy for short-term gain. Our generation owes it to the next generation to maintain forward momentum on climate action. One crisis can't be used to add to another, so I call on my fellow public reps to pull forward together and think outside the bag.